Hey, welcome back to McLovin Garage. Finley's here with me. Hi. And we are going to work on the 1970 Coronet. When I bought it, uh, Kenny, the previous owner, said that he thought the master cylinder was uh, going out or causing problems. So we're going to look that over, check and see if it's low on fluid or if it does need to be replaced. Uh, I do have one. It's sitting over here on the on the shelf right there. So we will uh, see if we need to replace that. I'd really like to get the car up in the air and on some jack stands and uh, check all the, the uh, it's got drum brakes all the way around. So we'll check them all. Make sure that uh, they're doing the stopping thing, uh, probably bleed them all, and uh, just verify that we've got fluid going to each of them and that everything's working like it should, and uh, then we can take it for a drive. So come along with us as we work on it. If you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe. Thanks for being here. So like I said before, this is a 318, all original. Uh, the car is supposed to have 72,000 original miles. Here's our master cylinder. We're gonna check it real quick. See, uh, see what's in it or what's not in it. Come on. Let's see if I can get that off. Oh, that sucker's stuck on there. There we go. Oh, it's got oh, some fluid. Full fluid, looks like. Come on, there we go. That way. Okay, that looks, that doesn't look, I mean, it's dirty, but it's full. So in order to get this off, it looks like I got to get under the dash, which, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these lines free real quick. And uh, then what I'll do is see if I can't crawl my way under the dash. I brought my headlamp. I brought my headlamp and we'll see if we can't uh, get this uh, master cylinder off. All right, so here's what we need to get to. You see those two nuts right there, and then there's two on the other side. That's hard to see. There's two right up there on the other side of the brake pedal <clears throat> that I'm gonna have to get out of there. There it is. These are going to be the fun ones over here. Okay. What's the best? What's the best way to get to those? Okay. It tried to whoop me. It really did. That was uh the four bolts on the back of that are hard to get to, well, especially one of them. Uh let me show you what I had to use to get it out. It's kind of humorous. But all four bolts are out. Uh, my back's going to hurt tomorrow with the contortions that I did to get underneath the dash. But uh, it's now loose, so I'll be able to take these uh, bolts out. Excuse me. Ah. I'll be able to take the, uh, um, not the bolts, I'll be able to take the brake lines out. And once those are out, that uh, master cylinder should slide out. But man, that was a chore, guys. Uh, I actually went into town to see if I could find some better wrenches. I ended up having what I needed here. Um, I really could use one of those uh, electric ratchets, the uh, cordless ratchets. That's on my list of something to get because uh, doing this by hand gets old after a while. So let me show you what I did. Okay, so here's what I used. Ooh, got hooked on the door. So I ended up using this little mini wobbler because I didn't have enough room to get in there 
and then I put the big ratchet on it because I didn't have enough uh, effort with the the small one. Uh, I needed some more leverage, so I put the bigger one on there. So all the bolts are out under here. Oh, it looks like maybe it's leaking through the through this side now that I look. But yeah, all the bolts are out of there, and now we're moving on to pulling it out of here. So let me let me work on that. Oh, they're all out. Just being stubborn. Just being stubborn. Let me get a sp little persuader here. Let's try this. There we go. updated you there's some footage and I'll probably put it in here of uh, uh, fixing the master cylinder so I did want to show you around real quick new master cylinders in we bled the brakes uh, got some air out of the front too the back ones I didn't get any air out of but new master cylinders in the car I put the battery hold down back on the car so all that's done all right so I got some parts here for my cornet uh, I noticed when my I already told you guys when the fuel tank's leaking. So got some parts from uh, Classic Industries. And I got some parts from Summit Racing. So we got here. This is oh new fueler new fuel filler neck. Knife away. Got some fresh hanger bolts to hang the fuel tank. New sending unit. What's this? Oh, a new uh, fuel tank pad. That's cool. And a new. Um, Those are the new bolts for the for the hangers. Then I got the new um, filler neck grommet to try and keep it from leaking. And then this is actually two metal vent tube lines. I'm not sure. Uh, 1968, 1970 fuel tank vent lines. I really want to make sure that it's vented well, especially since my floor is uh, is Bluetooth. And so I, uh, I grabbed those extra vent lines just in case. It's pretty amazing that they, uh, that they make all of those, all of those parts. So that's one box. Let me get to the other box here. This one I believe is also is from. I think this one's from Summit. Yep, there we go. Oh no, maybe this is from the same place. Nope, this is Summit. Some as well. Let's see what I got here. I should probably be uh, replacing my fuel. My uh, my fuel. I should probably be replacing my trunk floor, but I'm not. I want to drive the car, so I uh, I'm just going to replace what's necessary to make it a make it a driver. The, the fuel the fuel smell is so bad inside that it's uh, it sucks. Oh yeah, new tank straps. So 
So those are fresh, fresh straps to hold the tank up. That's everything in this box. It is. All right. There's some goodies. Old fuel tank is out. That thing is nasty. You can see, at least right there, there's a pinhole. And uh, it's pretty, pretty rotten. But the other thing we got going on here, say hi to Finley. Hello. <laughs> We've got some uh, Bluetooth floors. Whoa. Yep, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve all the edges of this hole. And uh, clean it up a little bit. And my friend Kenny's got some road signs. Uh, and I'm going to um, temporarily, permanently fix it is the plan. So there's uh, there's my next, you see the Sawzall's here. So I think we're going to have, uh, he's going to hold the camera while I do some Sawzalling. Okay. Sawzall. I guess I can service my fuel tank. Insta hole. <laughs> Insta hole. Look at that. Wow, that's a big hole. Really? That's not too bad. That'll at least uh, give us something to to, to uh, screw into mm -hmm. for the time being. That wasn't so bad. Ready. All right. There's the Bluetooth floor in the in the coronet. Now we're gonna fix it. Man, Dad, that's a holy floor. But it was. <laughs> I see what you did there. I did things. All right, well, I think that'll at least get us a good spot, like you said, to, to uh, screw to. Backing the rest of this out. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty crusty there, too. But I don't want to lose. That's actually solid. Professional body work being done here at McLovin Garage. <laughs> We, uh, you know, it's about yay big. We got to find a sign or something to put in here so that I can actually put some stuff in my, some junk in my trunk and, uh, and keep it in. <laughs> you already got some junk so. in your trunk. <laughs> We're going to have some junk in the trunk. There we go. I've got the camera on now. Okay. I'll do this then. Okay. There we go. Do you, oh. Okay, now you can get in there, Finn. Do the whole back edge. <laughs> you only have to go every six inches or so. Yeah. There we go. All right. Tank is in. We're just uh, tightening them up the, the straps now. Uh, we've got two vent lines we got to fix, or uh, we got to um, connect. We've got our fuel supply line that we need to connect back up. Um, I'll show you the trunk and how we uh, how we fixed that uh, at least for now uh, it's gonna be uh, it's a quick fix it's a, uh, not ideal but it's gonna work for for what we got going on so we're gonna get this trunk in or this I'm sorry this fuel tank finished and then I'll walk you around everything we got done you see our new trunk floor yeah I did it works yeah, for now temporary yep. just so you can cruise yeah if it works, is it a bad idea? No. No. So you just, it was just rusty there, huh? Yeah, so there's a couple holes by the back window. Yeah. And I think that's probably where the water was getting in. Yeah. And it got under the trunk mat. And, yeah, it just rots them out. And then that got the floor, and then that also got the top of the gas tank. I see. And so it smelled like fuel inside because the 
fuel tank had a hole in it. There was no fun driving it around town with the windows wide open and when it's 20 degrees, no, 20, 25 degrees, 26 degrees out. This is my quick down and dirty trunk floor right now. So at some point I need to replace the trunk floor. The whole, I mean, even more of it than what I did. And I didn't really replace it. I just kind of covered, well, that's not true. I sawzalled a hole out and I put down this, it's actually a street sign. I just drilled and tapped this in for now. I didn't want to lose my junk out of the trunk, so to speak. And uh, it's just an easy way to cover the top of the fuel tank. So I went with that. I know it's not the right way necessarily, but it's the easy way and the quick way. And this car is a driver. It's not a, it's not a show car. I'm not worried about it being perfect. You can see I didn't even get all the rust. There's some up there. Who cares? It's a driver. I want to drive it. I want to enjoy it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. So now let's go underneath and I'll show you the new fuel tank. Got a new fuel filler neck. I'm wondering if I can pull that out a little bit more because it's it's down in the hole a ways. So I need to work on that. Got You can see where the new tank straps are. And let's climb under. Climb under here. Here's the new fuel tank. Turn my headlamp on so you guys can see up here. All right, we got our new straps. We've got our new hoses. I'm hoping that this new um, fuel sending unit works. But that's all new. And in the car, I did see this. It's hard to read, but it says 271 is what the rear gear is in this car. You can see the exhaust on this pretty awesome it's a full TTI system with some uh, Dynamax mufflers uh, the underside of this car is really pre pretty clean it's been uh, it was it was coat looks like it was undercoated from the factory there you can see the the sign that I use for my new floor the other thing I did um, that I don't think I showed in video was I uh, added a ground to these tail lights you can see the oh, you can see this green wire here, maybe, let me get a light on it. You can see that green wire, it's run up to here, and then up here to this bolt. I was having trouble, not one brake light wasn't working. I did the same on this side. They both run up to here. Just a quick and easy fix for the, for the brake lights. I had, um, that brake like that brake light there wasn't working, and then the turn signal, and so that ground fixed the problem. Um, so yeah, at this point, the uh, brakes are bled, the new fuel tank is in, new sending units in, new uh, fuel filler neck is in, uh, fixed fixed trunk floor is done. Hopefully that gets rid of the gnarly fumes inside because when I was driving the first couple times I drove it around uh, There was just nasty fuel fumes because oh, let me show you. Let's show you this tank You can see a pinhole right there I'm sure there's more if I pulled maybe not but uh, That that pinhole right there Was uh, causing that tank to leak and send fuel vapors and smell into the inside of this car and it was awful. So um, hopefully that solves it and makes it a driver, a little easier driver. And then I, uh, the last thing that really needs to be addressed is that the heater isn't working. And so the heater will be my last or my, my next big thing. Uh, I wanna polish the paint. I think this paint might come back around a little bit so that's uh, that's on the list is get the paint polished and uh, just keep working on it. So that's uh, where I'm at so far. I'm going to get it down. I'm going to get the some fuel in it and then let's take it for a rip. All right. She's back on the ground. Vacuumed out the trunk. As you can see, not great. Still got a hole over here. But it'll work for now. Wasn't uh, wasn't going for perfect guys. Was just going for let's get the Bluetooth uh, hole covered so the trunks 
usable. All right, let's see if she'll start. Gas tank's in, brakes are bled. Let's see what we got here. All right, guys, it's running. I don't see any. Uh, oh, I don't see any leaks. Although I need to, I need to get under there and check. And uh, I'm gonna take it for a drive. Let's go. Let's go uh, see if uh, it smells like fuel anymore inside the cabin. All right, guys, we did it. New fuel tanks in. It's full of premium fuel, and uh, no fuel stink inside the uh, the cabin area. It was awful before. I could hardly drive it. And uh, now we're out cruising it, and I don't have any of that fuel smell in the car. This is great. It's an uh, awesome day to be out cruising, too. Good morning. We are going to uh, cold start the Cornet this morning. It's uh, it's about 30 degrees outside. It's been icy and uh, I'm going to cold start it. I want to warm it up, drive it into town. I want to change the oil. I want to change the oil filter. I want to change the fuel filter now that I put a new fuel tank in it. Uh, I'm sure there was some rust in the old one and uh, I just want to drive the car. I'm off today. It's a weekday. It's a, a midweek day off and uh, this is going to be part of uh, the video of changing the fuel tank, uh, doing the, um, what else did I do? Oh, the, the master cylinder. Uh, we're just doing a bunch of maintenance on the car so that uh, it's reliable and uh, ready to be driven quite a bit. So let's cold start this. I'm going to give it a couple, couple pumps. It's been sitting since um, Sunday night is the last time I drove it. It's Wednesday. So three days. Man, it fired up pretty good. I, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm really loving this car. Uh, I've been super stoked to, to own it and be its current caretaker. And so I'm looking forward to putting some more miles on it and uh, getting to know it uh, more uh, intimately, I guess would be the, the right word for it. In the comments, if you wouldn't mind, uh, put down there, you know, what your what your favorite car is or what the what your favorite car is that you've owned. Um, this is high on my, this car is high on my list of, of favorites. Uh, I've owned a lot of cool ones, but this is definitely one I've been looking for for a long time and super happy to Happy to own it. Let's let it warm up and we're gonna go take it for a cruise into town. I'll turn you guys around and we'll uh, watch the scenery as we as we roll out of here, okay? My neighbor. Whenever he sees me. <laughs> this car sure drives nice. 
I, uh, I looked on the rear end, I think I showed that, uh, it's got a 271 rear gear, so really, really set up for the highway. Three speed 904 automatic, and then the 318, and it just runs well. It just runs down the road well. Uh, it does 60, 65, no trouble at all. Just a nice driving car. Beautiful sunny day here in Oregon. And now it doesn't smell like gas inside here. I'm so happy about that. Fixing that gas tank was a huge relief. But yeah, there's 60 miles an hour and other than some wind noise going past some seals, drives good. I think the front end could use an alignment and uh, probably some updating. There, when I was under there last, it looked like there was some stuff that could use some uh, could use some work. So that might be on the list of things to do is uh, rebuild the front end as far as new ball joints and tie rod ends and some of that stuff. Uh, it wanders a little bit. Man, the motor runs good, it stays cool. Granted, it's 30 degrees, so it, it ought to, right? Gotta hit the bank and then the auto parts store. Need some cash, I got my dirt bike fixed. Finally. So I gotta go get that, uh, I gotta go pick that up, maybe today. I got my money, let's rock and roll. <laughs> Slippery in here. Oh yeah. It snowed yesterday and now whoa, yep. <laughs> it's definitely definitely slippery. Woo! Let's do a little you do a little sledding. It's not bad on the main uh, on the main roads, but man where it's where it's shady. It's uh yeah, it's uh, slip or re. Let's hit the old uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts here. Can I make it in before this van? Yep, sure can. Sure can. All right. I'm gonna run in and get some parts, guys. All righty, we got uh, oil, oil filter, fuel filter, some zinc additive. We're ready to change the oil. But first, I think I got to go home and work on uh, putting a couple new seat belts in my Suburban. Uh, I had one break, and I need to, I need to fix it. So. still shut the door nice right on
Hey everybody, welcome back. This is like, I don't know, part three or four of this uh, of this video. Uh, what the plan is tonight is to change the oil and uh, new oil filter. Also want to uh, change the fuel filter and uh, that'll be some of the last few things I want to do right this minute. I'd really like to drive the car to work tomorrow. Tonight's Friday night, I gotta work Saturday. Uh, I'd really like to drive the car um, to work. It's supposed to rain, but who cares? I want to drive it. So um, you can hear the dogs barking. My my homies here are going to be here in just a minute. And uh, we're going to get started on a little oil change. Okay, I got updates. Oil's drained. It was right here. But uh, I'm I'm not real bright. And there's a... My drain, my drain pan's over here right now. And my friends have their... Well, okay, so why my son this, uh, and my friend. That, that's not... Oh, that's there we go. <laughs> How to get that burp? Yep. There. Now, now my pan is draining. Because uh, I'm an idiot and didn't pull the the. <laughs> I wouldn't say idiot. Uh, I'm, yeah. yeah, I got help. Thankfully, my son and and Jerry helped me out here with the with the pan. So let me show you around down here while we wait. So there's the there's the drain plug. You know, that's uh, pretty standard. We got a oil filter. We got to pull over here. So that's next is uh, pulling, pulling that, and then definitely has a 318. I see the markings up there, 2536090, 2536090, and I think right behind that says 318. It's got the factory exhaust manifolds. It's got uh, dual 2.5 inch uh, TTI exhaust, which is pretty killer. Um, yeah, it's got a little oil down here. It's it's been dripping. I know the the uh, valve covers were leaking, and uh, yeah, now we're on to the oil filter, fuel pumps up there. Yeah, on to the next thing. Let's see if I can get my uh, my mitts up in here. That's, that's fun. Really wow, that really is a bummer spot. Yeah, it is. I don't even know if I can get on it, to be honest with you. Well, I can probably get on it here. For a second. It's hard to get a grip on it just because of where it is. Yeah. What the heck is that? Is it touching the exhaust? I mean, that ring isn't that big. There you go. Yeah, I wonder if, if it is. Over it. I mean, if we were desperate, we could take some pry yeah. bar or something, just move right. it enough to get that wrench in there. Right. Check that out. This is like super close to the exhaust. Okay. Yeah. Way close to the exhaust, so we're gonna have to do a little modification. Modification. Yeah, right. How am I gonna do that? Can you push against the? There we go. Got it. Now, did I put it on the right way? Uh, I you're did. going the wrong way. You're going the wrong I am? way. Yeah. Oh, really? You're tightening it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> well, the fact you got it moved, you could uh, at least maybe take a long screwdriver too and tap it and right. spin it. But there we go. Got there it. you go. Got it. I wish my ugly dug it. Flip it over. Try again. Well, I didn't realize this was going to be a two-man job, but I'm glad you're here. Hey, it ain't here. Okay. There we go. Come on. There we go. Got it. There you go. The right way now. All right, let's get this. Let's slid out of there easy now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, camera's <All> down. Right. <laughs> camera down, camera down. <laughs> Man, job to change your oil. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> Christ, what's wrong with these people? Somebody, uh, this, so this is a full, like I was saying, this is a full TTI exhaust system. And so it, it comes, you know, ready from the factory, right. like it comes from them. So it's already pre-bent. So I wonder if this, whoever did the, the old Bandaruski on this one. Well, either that or like, you know, that damn smuffle right filter or something. Right. True. But the, I think the one I got is as big as this one. So they do make a smaller one. Gosh dang it. You're right. I'm going to get oil everywhere. <laughs> you son of a gun. Go warm it up, George. Open yeah, the door. Yeah. You smoke coming in. <laughs> I'll wipe her off good when we're done here. Maybe. 
Come on. Stupid filter. I think I'm good, Jerry. I don't need that in there right this minute. I don't know how I'm going to get this filter out of here, but... <laughs> Pull it up from the top. Well, I think I can go straight back towards you and out. Once I get oil on everything, stand by. Well, that looks fun. Yeah, it's great. It's really awesome. Looks like you're having a good time under there. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, it's it's a win all the way around. You know, just. You just had another filter on it. Uh, I wouldn't yeah. blame you. Yeah, we're we're not running a filter. <laughs> I, I wouldn't blame you. Bypass it. Yeah. I wouldn't. I should put a remote reservoir filter up on top. That's what I did while I'm going to like ours. Oh, yep. it's like an old snake. Oh, 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 there it is. Hey, it's out. <laughs> You're rolling down. Uh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, just about. No, it, it hit the pan, thankfully. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's in the pan. That would have been amazing. Nothing about this was amazing. <laughs> 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 nothing, about this ex nothing about this experience has been amazing at the moment. I can't blame you there. Oh, my goodness. That That's... uh. That's not ideal, Jerry. Where's the filter? Well, uh, that's what you get for putting uh, aftermarket two and a half inch exhaust on a car that you know had about a one and a <laughs> one and a half that inch. Really only needs a one. <laughs> hey, how dare you? <laughs> Where's the filter? Oh my gosh. Hey, what's oh. nice about oh. this car? My, my Pontiac is uh, <laughs> Golly. plugs are right up top. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Like some of those cars. Holy crap. Folks, I had some beads tonight. <laughs> Dad, tell the... Yeah, that is bad news. That is close. Dad, tell the but... people how much fun you're having right now. Dude, I am having so much fun, you don't even know. Sounds like it. I mean, this is just everything I dreamed of and more for a Friday oh. night. Car is better than anything. Well, it is... well, I'll let you do this every time then. Uh, it is good. I agree with you, Jerry. That's probably good. Yeah, I don't, you don't want to gorilla no. tighten it because no. they get hot and they no. never come off. Come on. Come on. Come out. Come on. Please. Hello. Hello, please. Oh my gosh. Somebody else. <laughs> Just leave it there. <laughs> we'll get it next What's go around. Tickly noise. <laughs> Can you come up towards me a little more more? There we go. Maybe. I hear sounds of someone having fun Oh. Oh yeah. Man, that is stuck. Pliers, pull it out. Right. There we go. Got it. Come on, you there. Goodness gracious. No kidding. Let's not do that again. <laughs> <laughs> She's never getting an oil change again. Last one, right there. You watched it on McLovin Garage. It's time to sell it. All right, let's replace. Let's replace the fuel filter. Maybe this will be easier than that oil filter. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <that's laughs> I would, I would very much like that. Okay, so I'm gonna say it again, just in case I missed it in my video, but we're using the Shell Rotella T5, and then uh, I actually did some zinc additive, which probably didn't need because this oil has most everything you need, but better be safe than sorry on the old 318. The zinc. There you go, thank you, buddy. That's good. Oh, I did new <laughs> bead blocked. Uh oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he's he's pinching up too. Oh boy! And he's laughing, so it makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> oh no! Hey, this is a professional. This is a professional channel here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the goat rope. Oh, you know what? I need to I need to tighten that well, uh, that fuel line too. Oh, that's right. That's Where's right. that right here. wrench? Right in front of Finley. Finley. Yeah. Is no, it, they're, no, they're, they're open. Yeah, they're open right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. it's actually a two meter wrench, but yep. <clears throat> it's hard to do that. Hard to. Wrong side. No, nope, you got it. Oh. Easy. I thought it was meant for this. Oh, the bigger one. one. Yeah. No, nope, a little one. It looks like there's some red Loctite that was formed in the big red one. I doubt it. There we go. Like a glove. You poor dad. He's going to have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> uh, do you want to uh, kick it over? See sure. if we got any leaks? See? Let it uh, build some oil. Do you want to start or you just want to turn it over? No, let's, yeah, let's start it. Okay. 
Not interested, Jerry. <laughs> you know what? It's pretty tight because it doesn't want to. It shuts right off too. Yeah, it does. So what's the odometer? Seventy-two thousand. That's got to be original. That's what. That's what everybody says. Because that, it's that, just the motor's tight, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it runs. It runs great. All right, everybody. Oil's changed. Fuel fil New fuel filters on. Uh, nothing's leaking. We got it. Uh, we got it taken care of. Thank you, Jerry, for coming over and. Uh, and helping me out and my son Finley for coming out and playing in the shop. Uh, thank you all for being here. I appreciate everybody who subscribed and uh, who's a part of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know that there's tons of channels out there that you could be uh, a part of and, and I appreciate you being part of mine. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate that. Uh, YouTube says that that helps the channel. Uh, I know it helps the channel, so I'd appreciate that. Oh yeah, so to, uh, to bring it all, to wrap it all up here, we put a new fuel tank, new sending unit, oil change, oil filter, fuel filter. What else did we do? Uh, the car has been, been been cleaned up. Um, now it's just a matter of putting some miles on it. I, uh, I really like this car. I'm super thankful that Kenny sold it to me, and uh, I can't wait to put miles on it. We'll catch you next time.